far to the left. Apparently, their top choice is that man right there, Minnesota Congressman Keith Ellison. He's taking heat for extreme comments from his past, including once upon a time calling for a separate country here in the United States for African Americans. Is this what the party leadership has in mind? Joining us right now for his reaction is Kevin Jackson, Fox News contributor and executive director of the Black Sphere, joins us today from St. Louis. Kevin, good morning to you. Good to talk to you, Steve. So I I explain to us, if you will, because I'm sure you did a little research, how Keith Ellison suggested a black state. Well, it's not so much that he suggested that you guys have already pretty much teased that that is what he said. I think the bigger implication is the idea that people call Donald Trump racist when this is the person that the Democrats want to lead their party, a person who says black people should have a separate state. And he's endorsed by Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. He's supported by Chuck Schumer. Many of party leadership of the Democrats support a person who wants to essentially peel black people out of a country that we are a very good, a, a, an integral part of and make a separate state. I would ask Keith Ellison, what he thinks Africans coming from Africa are why they come to the United States. They don't come to the United States to be black. Africans come to the United States to become Americans, mm -hmm. not to become blacks. Sure. And, and so this idea that, that the Democrats condone these types of racist policies, quite frankly, I'm happy to see Keith Ellis, and I'd love to see him become the, the new Democrat uh, leader because he certainly represents them very well. So you feel that if he were to uh, become the leader of the DNC, he would pull the DNC so far to the left, it would be better for people in the middle and to the right? Certainly. Keith Ellison is what I call an ethnocentric racist. And everything about him has nothing to do with making America better, making the Democrat Party better. It has to do with essentially catering to blacks and, 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 and look, the policies that, that Donald Trump and many, uh, many on the right are trying to implement will raise the ocean, is, it, it will raise all the boats in the ocean. Mm -hmm. What Keith Ellison wants to do is pretend that blacks have some unique problems in America, which we don't. The problems that blacks face in America are problems caused by liberals, problems caused by Democrats, and Keith Ellison wants to pretend that it's something different. It's not. It's, it's that. And if all we need to do is get sanity back into politics, and a perfect example, Steve, is if you were to reverse this, if Donald Trump or any other Republican had said what Keith Ellison said, do you believe that we could be touting this person as a leader within the Republican Party or a leader in the conservative movement? Sure. The answer is no. He'd be considered blatantly racist. Yeah, that is such a good point. I, I wonder, you know, and I don't know that anybody has queried him if he were to lead the DNC, if they would be behind this recall election, that the, uh, the recall, uh, recall, the recount, that is to say, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin that is being waged by the Green Party right now, which, you know, Jill Stein came in fourth, the Democrat came in second, <laughs> and yet she's the one who's asking uh, for all the votes to be recounted. Seems a little odd. Well, what all, all these things, Steve, point to the desperation of the Democrats. We're talking about a group of people who have lost an election fair and square. They believed in their heart of hearts that they were going to win because that, that's the fallacy of, of, their, of, their, of their belief system is that they think that they're on the right track. Many of America were talking about this for years, and, 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 or, and certainly over the last year. What's interesting about this is, yet again, the Democrats have been talking about we ignored flyover country. We ignored yeah. the, the, uh, the, the blue-collar white vote. And then what do they do? They want to put an ethnocentric black racist in charge of the party because that's going to bring back the, the blue-collar white vote. That just shows you the level of idiocy yeah. that exists in that party. Well, let's see what they wind up doing. Uh, Kevin Jackson, we thank you very much for joining us today from St. Louis. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, Steve. All right. What do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. Meanwhile, the president-elect and his possible pick for secretary of state, Mitt Romney, once enemies, now seem to be...